Tonight, the Manchester Board of Aldermen approved more than $1 million of federal funding to get a temporary emergency homeless shelter up and running. The need is great. As a result of COVID-19, there are fewer shelter beds, while at the same time, we have more people living unsheltered in the city. The city was considering using the JFK Coliseum, but today a property owner offered an alternative. Both FIT and the fire department visited the property today and we are hopeful that it will meet the needs of our community. Staff from Families in Transition New Horizons will be running the emergency shelter through the winter months. We do think it can work uh, for um, probably no more than 50 individuals. Once that location is open, the city will be able to offer roughly 200 beds in three different shelters until the end of the winter. The building that we, we're looking at may need a little bit of tweaking. Uh, it does need a little bit of work. Um, that we also need to do. But I would say if it's not December 7th, it would be the following week. City officials say two other locations will also be used when the temperature falls below zero to make sure people living on the streets are able to get inside. I know we're just dealing with a whole lot more people out, out in the streets because of COVID. So, um, the need is out there. The mayor says she's not going to disclose where the property is for that temporary shelter until a few more things are discussed, but she does believe it's the right fit for the city. Reporting in Manchester, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.